Lancaster City Council. Thank you all for your support. Showing up week after week, signing petitions. We're hoping to get this introduced soon. So please continue to be on the lookout for that. Secondly, this week, a statewide campaign for uncommitted Pennsylvania is launching. Woo! So that just goes to show that even a small county, a small city like Lancaster can go and make a statewide difference and a nationwide difference and an international difference. Yes. So what I'm asking is that you have to be a registered Democrat to vote in the primary on April 23rd. If you're not registered to vote, please register to vote. You can set your party for Democrats and then you can change that after. <laughs> then you can write in uncommitted. That is what we are. Statewide coalition suggesting writing in uncommitted. Yes. Our goal yes. is to get 10,000 people in the state of Pennsylvania to write in uncommitted yeah. to pressure President Biden and his administration to call for an immediate and lasting ceasefire. Yes. yes. The strategy here is to say, Biden, if you don't change, you're going to lose the presidency. That's Biden, right. if you don't yes. change and call for a ceasefire, you will not win in November. Pennsylvania is a crucial swing state to make ourselves heard by writing in uncommitted. So if you have friends, family, community members, please, please encourage them to vote in the April 23rd primary and write in uncommitted. Thank you. Okay. Secondly, you may or may not be aware of the hateful rhetoric that our two conservative county commissioners are spewing. Right? Shame. Drag story time happening just a block up at the library next Saturday. So, after our rally next Saturday, we will mobilize and go participate in a wall of love to protect the diverse hey, and important event that our library is putting on. So that will be next Saturday. So please, hey, if you here. can, support the library. Email the commissioner, tell them they're pieces of shit. Yeah! And then thirdly, I don't know how many people are aware because this is brand new news, those two commissioners who are spewing hate about Drag Story Hour are introducing and voting on Wednesday a resolution signifying Lancaster County as not a sanctuary city. This resolution encourages all law enforcement to participate with ICE. To Shame! And to have them leave Lancaster County. This is not what Lancaster County is for. No. What I'm asking is for you to please email the county commissioners Wednesday at 9.15 a.m. And that building just up there, a block up, will be the county commissioners meeting. I'm asking, we're all asking for people to please mobilize Wednesday, 9.15 a.m. at the county commissioner meeting. We have to speak up. We have to tell them that this is not acceptable. We do not accept hate. We welcome immigrants. We are here to support them. We want them to feel welcome and yes. part of our community because they are what makes Lancaster yes. a great place. Yes. Yes. No one is illegal. 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 No one is illegal.
has even recognized the need for a clear path for a civilian safety and a way path forward that has not even been acknowledged as of yet. So now they want to help. They know the gravity of the situation, but now they've chosen. Why don't you think of the children? This all started at the very beginning. We're saying these such words where there's no such innocent Palestinians. They could have rebelled all the way back in October. Those were the types of words. No Shame! such innocent Shame! Palestinians. Shame! And throughout this entire time, I've been told over and over again, and you know, I believe it, there are bigots out there of all sides. But I've been told that to speak of a Zionist is just another word to diminish the speaking of a Jew Jewish person. But this entire time, it's been abundantly clear, but not spoken of enough, uh, spoken of enough yet, that when we spoke of Hamas, this entire time we've been speaking of Palestinians. How else do you explain the collective punishment? How else do you explain the genocide if this entire time we were not speaking of Palestinians every single time they said a mock? Yes. And now they speak of trying to excise Hamas out of Gaza. What is that actually going to mean? Genocide. Exactly. To excise the Palestinians out of Gaza. That is why we call for a ceasefire. Yeah. To stop the ethnic cleansing. To stop the genocide. Stop the genocide! Ceasefire now. Ceasefire now! 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 We need another option. We are here to offer another option. So we are running uh, Karina, uh, the Karina Garcia as the VP and the uh, President is uh, Claudia de la Cruz. And uh, we're, we're trying to get ballot access to PA. We need 5,000 signatures minimum to get on the ballot. Uh, you know, the uh, house as they are in the state, they uh, try to uh, try to get the credit to the best voters to pass off that way. We didn't have more options on the ballot. That's all. It's not urgent. So if you'd like to, uh, after the rally wraps up, uh, we can come up and sign our petition here. Like I said, we're trying to have 5,000 signatures. Um, and you don't have to be registered with the CSL. You can be Democrat, Republican, Green, whatever. Um, and the CSL, um, what we want the candidates to support a ceasefire in Palestine. For the liberation of Palestine, all its people. Go uh, by the Act is not Trump. You know, so you can do around things up. Uh, so, you know, we're working towards that. And, um, sorry, uh, I don't have to say, but I'm one of the five. So, yeah, uh, I'll be here for the clipboard and uh, also pick up again when we came here earlier. We'll come up to him and uh, put the uh, So, thank you for coming out today.
Viva Palestina! Viva Viva Palestina! Viva Viva Palestina! Viva Viva Palestina! Viva Viva Palestina! Free Free Palestine! Free Free Palestine! Free 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 Palestine! Free 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 Palestine!
Yeah.